Hi, my name is Sophie Laborwit, and I'm the Education Assistant at the Maxwell Museum of Anthropology. Today, we're going to be making yucca brushes. When it comes to Pueblo pottery, the entire process is natural, from collecting the clay to firing it, and that includes the brushes used to paint designs on it. So we're going to make something similar today. Let's go! For this activity, the first thing that we're going to need is a yucca leaf. Very carefully and with adult supervision, you can gather this leaf with scissors. Be sure to be respectful of nature and thank the plant for its leaf. We're also going to need a rock that we're going to use as our scraper. It should be a little bit sharp on one edge, but not too sharp, just enough so that we can scrape away the pulp from the leaf. The next thing that we're going to need is some paint to paint with our paintbrush and something to paint on. You can get these illustrations of Pueblo pottery from the Maxwell Museum education page by going to maxwellmuseum.unm.edu, clicking on educational resources and pottery activities. So for the first step, what we're gonna do is we're going to take this piece of yucca and mine curls up a bit so you have like a kind of U but really we want something flat, so I'm going to break that in half along those lines. That way it's flat. And then I'm also going to cut it about the length of my index finger, so about like 10 centimeters or so. Once we have that, we can break it apart. And you'll start to see all these like fibers come off the edge, kind of like strings. That's what we're gonna be breaking up for our bristles. So then we're gonna lay that piece, the flat piece, down and use our rock. And we're gonna hit it a few times to really break up the bristles to make it easier. So, Now we're going to do that same thing on the other side. You'll start to see some impacts. So once it's kind of loose, you'll start to see the juices coming out of it. And use your rough side of the rock to scrape out all the pulp and you'll start to see the fibers of the yucca. Then turn it over. Since yucca can be kind of thick, we want to get both sides. And you'll start to see the color coming out of it. and it's starting to fan a bit. So you can sort of see our bristles that we're gonna be using. Our bristles should be a different color from the rest of the leaf. You can sort of see, let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. You can sort of see the bristles, just like a regular paintbrush. Now you can go a bit longer by going further up the stem and scraping you down. Now you're done when you see that the bristles are a different color than the rest of your yucca root and you scrape them off so you can see all of the fibers that have been broken up and are now a brush. This next part is the most fun for me where we actually get to decorate our ceramic. Um, for mine, I chose this shape, but you can choose whichever one you like, or multiple. And I put my paint in a little tray, like that, and then I have my water nearby. So, because the fibers 
in the yucca plant soak up water, they're going to soak up a lot of paint. That way you can continue to work and the sharp angle will give you the detail that you like. I was inspired by a lot of the geometric shapes of the earlier pottery. So I'm gonna kind of do a zigzag like that. But this is your chance to really get creative. By turning our brush on the side, we can create wider lines. And then by turning it long ways, we can create thinner lines. I'm going to zigzag this all the way down. All right, now we have our finished product that we can hang up on a wall or a refrigerator that we made with a homemade yucca brush.